today we are going to be using a tool named john the ripper this tool is incredibly fast and it's very very easy to use it's already pre-installed in kali linux and if you are on any operating system you can download it from the internet it's absolutely open source with this tool you can crack zip file passwords wi-fi passwords hashes and much much more so let's get started Okay, so John the Ripper is a very useful tool. It will be already installed in Kali Linux if you are using. And if you are in ethical hacking, you probably would have it already installed. And if you are on Windows or Mac or any other operating system, you can download it via the internet. John the Ripper has a separate website. Now, to install it, what you have to do if you are on a Linux machine, you can just go sudo apt apt get install john. Alright, so this will do the trick. If you are on Mac, you can type brew install install john all right so you can just type this command on mac this won't work on linux right now now uh, to actually use john the ripper you will uh, need any encrypted file john the ripper has a very wide things of what it can do it can crack into wi-fi it can crack hashes it can crack zip files so what we are going to do today we are going to crack zip files with it and so zip files get logged right so once you log the zip file you will need a password to access it and john the ripper what we'll do with it we'll try to crack that hash with it so we'll start by encrypting a file to do that we'll create a, a test file test.txt and here as we are in our website we can just type uh, anything let's type hack the all right and we want to save it control x press y and press enter so as you can see we will have a text file right here all right let's do one thing let's get it onto our desktop all right that that way we'll be able to see what we are doing we'll create that same thing hack the world control x y and it all right if we clear it and we see we have got test.x right here so let's go to the gui all right we have files right here every operating system has this go on desktop here you'll find a file test.txt right click and we want to zip it right so to zip it we can use the command line itself so there is a tool in linux named zip if you are on mac or windows you can do it via the gui itself so we'll type uh, a random file name test and then we'll type test.txt text press enter and if you go on the gy right now we can see there is a test.zip file right here go on it and we'll press these three bars password we'll create a very simple password for it save and as you can see we got a little lock sign right here so whenever you want to access it it will demand the password all right so let me just change this all right update and now once you want to access this and this will require the password so now what we'll do we'll try to use john the ripper to crack this password and then a good thing is it already comes with a word list so in most of these tools like hashcat and hydra you have to provide a specific word list to do its work john the ripper already comes with a very basic word list if you want to go more advanced you can use your own ready-made word list or you can use uh, some word list that were used to crack uh, big companies which have passwords in millions and there is one word list named rocky it has uh, around 14 million passwords in it if you want you can use it it's readily available on the internet for you to use now as you can see we have got a file named test.zip what we'll do we'll first try to encrypt it so there's a tool that comes with john the ripper that's zip to john all right and zip to john is a tool which can actually hash files it uses the algorithm sha256 and we'll do it for the file test.zip press enter and as you can see it generated a hash so hash as we know it ends in a dollar sign and it starts with the dollar sign so this is the hash for this file right here and i wanted to save this hash somewhere so to do that i'll just save it in say hashes hashes dot text press enter and as you can see now we have a hashes dot text file and if we cat hashes dot text we'll get the same file so now we have the output saved in a text file now the main hero comes in john the ripper so what we can do we can type john we can type format so we needed to have a zip format so john the ripper has quite a few formats in it so there is one simple format one format that can actually jumble your passwords you can provide one string it will jumble it and then it will provide it with the thing that you want to hack now for us we want it to be a zip format because we are cracking a zip file and then we'll just provide the hash that we want it to crack now this is the hash that's encrypted in shard 56 now what 
Amazon will do is go to its word list that is already provided. It will convert everything to SHA-256 and then it will match these hashes. Once it gets a match, it will give it to you and the password will be cracked. Let's press enter and see the magic. Alright, proceeding with single. And as you can see, John the Ripper has done it again. It has again cracked this word list. So as you can see, it was uh, proceeding with word list. And this is where John the Ripper, you know, actually saves this word list where it cracked this password. The password one two three four five six. It was a very simple password that is almost there in every word list. So as you can see, uh, we got the password to it. And if we go on the test right now, we try to access this file one two three four five six. Press enter, and we got access to it. Hack the world. All right. So now if we go back, I'll just show you what word list John the Ripper uses just to get it a bit small. All right. So we'll move on to a different terminal window. So it was this path right here. User share John the password dot lst, and this is the word list that John the Ripper uses. It's a very simple word list. It uh, would not have more than a thousand passwords. But if you want to use complex word list, you can with John the Ripper. And if you want to search more into John the Ripper, you can just type John in your terminal dash dash help, and you can get tons of commands. What you can do with this tool. We have barely scratched the surface with what we have done today. I just wanted to give you a basic perspective on how this tool works. And now you can dive deep into searching what all of these do and getting the best out of this tool. There are many tools out in the market, Hashcat uh, and Hydra, but I would recommend John the Ripper to everyone because this tool has a lot of functionality and what it can do is absolutely limitless. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button down there. I upload videos about penetration testing, bug bounty and ethical hacking every single week. So if you are interested and if you are a fan, be sure to smash that subscribe button down there and I'll see you guys next time.